Hey, it's health coach Tara. And today we're gonna talk about how to start keto in 2021. And I'm gonna dive right into the good stuff. Now you want results and you want them quickly. And you've likely heard story after story of people losing large amounts of fat very quickly with a ketogenic diet. So here you are, ready to give it a try for yourself and hoping for even better results. But there's something that not many people will tell you about keto. And it's not because they're trying to hide anything. It's simply because they've forgotten what it feels like to be new to the keto diet. The thing that they fail to talk about up front is that the keto diet is difficult to start. And for some people with strong sugar or carb addictions, very difficult to maintain. Now, why would I share this with you? I'm a health coach who specializes in keto. I have online video courses, a 30-day keto planner, a deluxe 90-day keto planner, tear-off pads, and even a keto cupcake cookbook. So why in the world would I tell you the keto diet is hard? Well, it's because I want you to be successful. And over the past three years, as I've coached clients and my members, I've learned why most people fail at keto. I've spent the last decade studying psychology and neuroscience to help coach people get out of their own way, shift their mindset, and get the results they crave. The number one reason people fail when they first start keto, it's because someone told them it was going to be easy. So let's bust that myth right now. We do not want to set up our minds to expect it to be easy. Instead, let's tell our mind that this is a challenge worth the hard work because there are powerful results on the other side. This way, if keto is easier than your mind expects it to be, your mind is much less likely to try and convince you to quit. So tip number one is to prepare your mind ahead of time. Psych yourself up for the challenge, a challenge that will be well worth the effort. Tip number two is to set yourself up to stay motivated to keep, eat keto every single day. Now we all know that motivation is fleeting. And what I don't want to happen to you is for you to get three days into the keto diet and then be crushed by the keto flu. Then give in and eat all the carbs and have to start over again. This is a vicious cycle that has many people quitting just before they begin to see results. So what is the secret to be motivated every day? To get yourself to stick to your goals instead of giving in to temptation? Well, research shows time and time again that people with a strong commitment statement, a strong purpose, and a strong why are much more likely to succeed at creating new health behavior. Yeah, I know. It sounds super cheesy and annoying, doesn't it? But here's the thing. It works. I see it work in myself with my clients, with my members over and over again, when they finally get a strong connection with their purpose behind doing the keto diet. And no, I don't mean I wanna lose 50 pounds. I mean the real purpose for getting healthy. That's when everything changes for them. Everything just falls into place. So if you need some help with this, I'll provide some resources in the description of this video to help you out but I encourage you to spend some time on this and get really clear on your purpose because your purpose, your vision, your why statement, it will set the foundation for every decision you make. When you become tempted by something, you'll remind yourself of why you're making this effort. Your vision, your purpose needs to be strong enough and big enough to zap the temptation and allow you to shrug your shoulders and walk away. Tip number three, the keto diet is different. The keto diet is powerful for fat loss and it's unlike anything you've tried before because we are changing the primary fuel our body runs on. Now on a regular diet, any other diet, we're sugar burners, glucose. The keto diet's goal is to change this so you're literally burning fat for fuel. This is what makes the keto diet so powerful for fat loss. It has dozens of whole body benefits that go beyond fat loss. And I encourage you to learn about these, but to get started, it's crucial to understand this basic concept. Because as you transition from a sugar burner 
to a fat burner, your body is going to resist the change a bit. After all, it is quite comfortable being a sugar burner. Now, you will take the sugar, the glucose, away as being the primary fuel source, and you're going to replace it with ketone bodies. Now, ketone bodies are created when free fatty acids are broken down. And there's three different types of ketone bodies. But what's important to know here is that this is happening. The symptoms and signs of transitioning your body to run on ketones is often called the keto flu. But there's good news. You can avoid most of the symptoms of the keto flu. So tip number four is be prepared so you can avoid the keto flu and support your body's transition process. So this is how it works. On day one of your keto diet, you have glycogen stores. This is simply stored, uh, the terminology uh, for stored sugar, stored glucose. So you can think of glycogen as sugar stored in your muscles and some organs. You have a few thousand calories worth of glycogen stored in your body. By comparison, a lean person has tens of thousands of calories worth of stored fat in the body. So I want you to know that there is plenty of fuel available to your body. Your body just has to learn to tap into the fat stores and break them into ketone bodies and then use those ketone bodies to fuel your physical body. It's a lot, right? So let's say on day one, you aren't eating more than 20 grams of carbs, but your body says, no problem, just going to use the stored glycogen. Somewhere between days two and four, your body runs out of stored glycogen, and this is when the keto flu symptoms can start. So often this begins with fatigue, a headache, and feeling run down, much like when you very first start feeling symptoms of the regular flu. Fortunately, there are supplements we can take to prevent these symptoms from becoming unbearable. Modern science. In fact, experts agree that supplementation is important when transitioning to a keto diet. So you want to find a supplement designed to provide the nutrients and minerals that we need to transition to being fat burners without loads of symptoms. So think about your car. Would you attempt to drive your car without gas or without oil or with transmission fluid, power steering fluid? What if you had flat tires? Would you drive it around? Of course not. Our bodies need specific inputs, nutrients and minerals, to run correctly. When we don't provide those inputs, the results are a wide variety of symptoms as our body continues to chug along without the stuff it needs. So supplementing correctly is critical to support your body's needs. So the next question is, what should you supplement with? Well, experts agree that you need to supplement with additional salt, not table salt, sea salt or Redmond sea salt, magnesium, and potassium while on a ketogenic diet. But there are a problem with the supplements on the store shelves. A lot of these products on the store shelves and online are a waste of money. Not all supplements are created equal, and there's not a lot of regulation on how bioavailable an ingredient in a supplement is to your body. So that just means if your body can even absorb it or if it's just being excreted in your urine. So instead of pouring your money down the drain and using a product that doesn't even help you avoid the keto flu, take a recommendation from someone you trust, someone like me. You'll find a list of supplements we personally take in the description below this video and in the related blog post. But I want to take just a moment and let you know that electrolytes don't have to be in liquid form. They don't have to be added to your water. There are also options where you can take electrolytes in a capsule instead. So this is what I do most days. Now, my favorite product for people just starting keto and who are looking for an encapsulated form is Highlight Capsules. So just be sure you drink plenty of water if you take electrolytes in a capsule form. So for the very best pricing, order directly from their website at adapted-nutrition.com and use the coupon code TERRAKETO for a discount on your order. That's T-A-R-A-K-E-T-O. If you like their products, you could even sign up for their subscribe and save program and get them cheaper than you can get them off Amazon. Learn from my mistake <laughs> and check out the link in the description below for discounts on our other favorite keto-friendly electrolyte supplements. That brings me to tip number five, which is get rid of temptation. So if at all possible, 
Get rid of all the sugary and carby foods that you might crave. Get your favorites out of the house. If you need to, box them all up and ask a friend to store them for you. Or donate unopened and unexpired foods to a food pantry. You know, if the keto flu strikes, it often comes with intense carb cravings. So if you don't have your favorite carby and sugary foods in the house, you are much less likely to give in to a momentary temptation. Tip number six, find keto-friendly replacements for your favorite foods. As you get to know me, you're going to find out that I love food and I love keto. Over the years, I've created hundreds of keto-friendly recipes to help people stick to the keto diet, but also have their cake and eat it too. The good news is you can make a keto version of almost anything. And know that I'm picky, so my recipes are not published until they taste like the real thing or as close to the real thing as I can possibly get. So if you haven't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel. We publish a new recipe video every week, and we share posts of our favorite recipes with our audience. So be sure and subscribe and take a moment to turn on all notifications. I also want to invite you to sign up for our free weekly meal plans to be delivered to your inbox every Friday morning. All you need to do to sign up is click on the link at the top of this video or find the link in the description or on our website at wholebodyliving.com. These meal plans are made with delicious and satisfying foods. We even have meal plans created with convenience products for those weeks where you're just incredibly busy. So speaking of packaged foods, this brings me to the next tip. Tip number seven, don't immediately trust packages with the, with the word keto or keto approved on them. More and more companies are diving into the keto space with a variety of convenience products. This is a good thing, except that some of these products will undermine your results. This is why you'll see us posting product review videos and discussing products as we discover them on our weekly live streams. When you see a product label keto or low carb, that's a red flag to pay special attention to the ingredient list. You want to avoid wheat ingredients, any kind of wheat, gluten, inulin, maltitol, isomalt, maltodextrin, and IMOs, isomaltosaccharides, hydrogenated oils, and sugar by any name. Know that sugar-free chocolate and candies are a big user of maltitol. But not only can it cause you gas, but it can also spike your blood sugar, which undermines your body's ability to stay in a state of ketosis. Tip number eight, invest in your health. Keto is a powerful diet for fat loss and a powerful diet to improve your health. If you're diabetic or insulin resistant, really take a hard look at how the keto diet can benefit your whole body's health. And be sure, especially if you have diabetes, to bring your doctor into the conversation as you'll likely need your insulin level adjusted. Now, when working with clients and members, I recommend they get baseline lab work done with their doctor. There's also some lab tests that are very useful that you can order yourself. I will link to these in the description below this video. But above all, be willing to invest some time and money into building your health. We only get one body in this life, and it's crucial to invest in supporting our body's health. So tip number nine, don't go at it alone. Now here's the thing, you've probably heard about the research showing that we become like the people we surround ourselves with. This research shows that our habits, our health, and our weight are all heavily influenced by the people we're closest to. So create accountability by inviting a friend to keto with you or join a social support group like our whole keto group on Facebook. And for even more accountability and coaching, join a group coaching program, something like our sustainable keto membership. You can find more information on these options I just mentioned in the description or just comment on this video and ask for what you want and we'll, we will reply and respond to the links. We read and respond to all of our comments. So this brings me to our final tip, but stay tuned as I have a powerful bonus tip for you to help you be more successful with the keto diet. So tip number 10 is to commit to 100% keto for four weeks. 
So many people approach me and say, hey, Coach Tara, I'm going to try this keto thing for a week and see what happens. But the thing is, after a week, your body is just starting to get good at running off ketones. Keto for one week is unlikely to be useful for you. So commit right now to 100% keto for four solid weeks. I've dubbed this my 30-day keto challenge, and I designed a planner around this concept. You can find my 30-day keto planner on our website at sustainableketo.com. The planner is available as a PDF or as a printed spiral-bound book. Also, remember to sign up for our free weekly meal plans by clicking on the links in the description of the video. Now, when you sign up for meal plans, I'll also tell you about other things we have to offer, such as our starting keto video course called the 7-Day Keto Challenge online course. It's helped hundreds of people start keto quickly. And now I want to provide you with the promised bonus tip, and this is a good one. Thousands of people will attempt the keto diet as we move into 2021, and most of them are going to fail and quit on themselves. Here's how to not let that be you. Now, as a society, we need to shift how we think about failure. Take just a moment and imagine a baby just learning to crawl. He tries to push himself up with his hands and falls. Then he tries again and again, falling each time. Eventually, days or weeks later, he did it. He's on his hands and knees. His parents are squealing with delight as they watch their baby work towards this considerable milestone of crawling. Now, if you were the parent watching your baby push themselves up with one hand and fall, would you feel ashamed and embarrassed because your baby didn't crawl the first time he tried? Would you say, if you were meant to crawl, you'd have talent and would just get it right the first time, so just quit? No way. But this is what we do to ourselves. It's what we tell ourselves as adults every time we failure. Failure is not a sign you're on the wrong path. Failure is not the end. Failure is, in fact, a sign you're on the right track. Failure is a necessary part of success. We don't learn to crawl or to walk or to eat with a spoon on our first try. The same goes for this new dietary habit you're going to create. You will fail, and that's okay. Every time you fail, think, yourself, think of yourself as the baby just learning to crawl. Tell yourself, well, whoops, time to try again. And don't wait for days or weeks or months to try again. If the baby had waited a month in or a year in between trying, do you think he'd ever crawl? Instead, fail and then get right back up, dust yourself off, and try again. You know, I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to start keto in 2021. There's a lot to learn about the keto diet, but you are capable of doing this hard thing. You are capable of taking uncomfortable action so that you can create a life and a body you love to live in. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and turn on all notifications for this channel. Thank you for watching and for your support. You've got this. Until next time, this is Health Coach Tara of Tara's Keto Kitchen.